Look at that white edge. That is definitely a silver quarter. Let's go ahead and see what year it is. What is up everyone, Diggin' Dave? I have a box of quarters. I actually have two boxes of quarters currently looking for W, silver, errors and varieties. I, I'll probably have to add a couple more quarter boxes to this video, but right here is the first quarter box for this video. You guys know what I'm looking for. Let's get digging into some quarters. Well, unfortunately, box one gave me absolutely nothing. No silver, no Ws. It was a skunk. Let's move on to quarter box number two. All right, guys, I am on roll 31 of box two, and I finally got a find. I was getting scared there for a minute, thinking maybe I'm going to go through two full boxes and not find anything. It's not silver, but roll 31. We're going to have a W quarter V75, not in the best condition, but, you know, these W quarters are getting harder and harder to find. And this one's going to be a tall grass prairie. This is a design that I don't find a lot of, 2020 W quarter V75. I'm just happy we got a W, we got something in box two. I'd like to find a silver. Like I said, I'm probably going to have to add a couple more boxes to this video, but we got a W. Let's keep on digging. Well, just finished box two. Two boxes done. Pretty light on the finds. No proof quarters, no double dies, no silver, but we did get one W, a tall grass prairie. West Point V75, it's better than nothing, but um, man, two boxes, only one W. Quarters have been a little slow lately, but you know, I'm going to add a couple more boxes, probably at least two more boxes to this video. Hopefully I have enough finds for a video. Otherwise, I'll probably have to add some more boxes, but I'll be back when I pick up box number three and four, and we'll keep on digging. Only on roll number five of box three. And guys, this is what I like to see. Look at that beauty. Look at that white edge. That is definitely a silver quarter. Let's go ahead and see what year it is. Wow, it's actually in pretty nice condition. Looks like Philadelphia. 1961. I thought it was going to be a 64. Seems like 90% of the time when I find silver quarters, they're 1964. But this is a 1961 90% silver quarter. Beautiful. Let's keep on digging. All right, I'm on roll 31, and I just found something that I haven't found in seven years of coin roll hunting. It's not some crazy silver or something, but I was just looking through this roll. Look at this, guys. A Philadelphia... 2001 New York and look at that it looks like it has like a a holographic like paint or something on it I have never seen this before hopefully it's showing up on camera but that is actually really cool I looked up on eBay I saw a couple selling for a couple dollars so I really it's considered post mint damage it's you know nothing special obviously this was done not by the mint it was done by some company. Pro they probably put this holographic paint on these quarters and sold them for, who knows, $10, $20 a quarter back in the day. But that's really cool. Let's keep on digging. All right, guys. Thanks if you're still here. Thanks for watching. Fortunately, we didn't get any W quarters in box three, but we did get a silver, a 61 Philly in that holographic 2001 New York, which is really cool. I put it in a flip. I know it's probably not worth much, but it just looks really cool. So I'm really happy to find a silver quarter. They're getting hard to find. Um, w quarters are getting hard too, but um, so far out of three boxes, we have one W, one silver in the holographic quarter. Hopefully box four. It's the last box I have for this video. We can get a silver W, maybe both. Maybe a double die, we'll have to see. Let's keep on digging into box number four. All right, guys, I'm only on roll number four of box four. I see another silver rim. I already saw what, what the date was, guys. I pulled it out. And it's a 1963, and I had to do a little research because... As you can see, this quarter appears to be painted red. And this actually has some cool history to it. It's a 63 Denver. So from the research I did on Google, 
Back in the day when restaurants and bars had jukeboxes, it was normally like three plays for a quarter. You could get, you know, three songs played on the jukebox for 25 cents. And in bars and restaurants, when there was no music playing or nobody, you know, put money in the jukebox, the owner of the bar or restaurant had some quarters painted red. So the owner of the bar or restaurant would go and put a quarter in the jukebox to play music. Because, you know, if you're at a bar or a restaurant, if there's no music playing, it's kind of, you know, quiet music, you know, for many, many years. Music helps the environment and makes people feel more happy. You know, think about going to a restaurant restaurant or bar and it's just completely quiet. Normally there's music playing, so that's kind of some cool history, you know, to think, I mean, someone could have just painted this, but I don't know why someone would paint this quarter red unless it was a, a house quarter, you know, or the owner of a restaurant or bar painted this quarter red. Um, I also read that normally the owner of a restaurant or bar, they did not own the jukebox or the music, you know, the jukebox that played music. So at the end of the week, when the owner of the jukebox would come and empty out the coins out of the machine, they would know that the red quarters to give back to the restaurant or the bar owner, because those were, you know, put in by the owner of the restaurant or bar. So kind of a cool piece of history, but it's a silver quarter with a bit of history to it. Let's keep on digging. All right, guys. So box four is giving us some stuff. Roll number seven. It's not a silver. It's not a W, but I did just find an S minted quarter in pretty nice condition. It's not a proof. So it's going to be a not intended for circulation and it's going to be Fits perfectly. 2015 Homestead. And if you look here, obviously 2015 S uh, proof. 831,000, but for the A, not issued for circulation. It was there, like San Francisco made some quarters with the S mint mark for collectors that were not proof. Only 1.1 million. So compared to Philadelphia and Denver, 214 million, 248 million, only a little over a million. That's a pretty low mintage, so honestly, it's in pretty nice condition, too. So I'm going to put it in a flip and hold on to it. Let's keep on digging. Roll number 30, guys, of box four. So far, we have that 63 Denver Silver and the not intended for circulation quarter. Roll number 30. Guys, I think we're going to have a second silver quarter. Oh, yeah, that's silver. This is a the second silver quarter for box four. I still haven't found any more W's. When, when's the last time we found a W? Yeah, box two, we had a W. Box three, we had a silver. No more W's, but box four. This is the second silver for box four and the third silver quarter for this hunt. I'm finding more silver quarters than I am W's. Beautiful. Philadelphia. 1964. Beautiful. We have 20 rolls left in box four. Let's keep on digging and see what else we can find. Roll 41, guys, of box four. Nothing too special, but I'm going to get a circulated proof quarter. I almost missed it because it didn't look like a proof, but uh, you can see the S mint mark right there. It's been circulated for a while. S mint mark, 2006, South Dakota. We have nine rolls left in box four. Can we get one more silver or maybe a W? Let's keep on digging. Guys, let's go. Roll 47. I was really wondering. I'm like, can we pull out a third silver quarter? Roll 47. This is going to be silver quarter number three for box four. Three silver quarters in one box. I don't remember the last time that happened. This one looks like it could be a little bit older. We have a Denver Mint mark. Look at that. 1959. That is beautiful. Guys, that is silver quarter number three for box four. Silver quarters are really hard to find. To find three in one box is crazy. We still have three rolls left. Let's keep on digging. 
All right, everyone, if you're still here, thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. I didn't find anything else in box four, but we're going to end with three silver quarters for box four. Here's the rundown. Box one was a skunk. I got worried with box one. We didn't find anything. Four boxes only gave me one W quarter. W quarters are getting hard to find, but uh, silver's hard to find too, but we got a silver in box three and three silver quarters in box four. So one W and four silver quarters. Guys, I've gone through four or five six boxes of quarters before and not found one silver quarter i think my record is nine nine boxes of quarters in a row without one w or one silver quarter so yeah nine boxes is my record with no silver quarters but 59 61 63 and a 64 four more silver quarters for the 2024 silver jar the tall grass prairie w we got that cool holographic, that 2001 New York. I know it's probably it's really not worth anything, but I've never found one of these before. That's really cool. And I got that 2015 Homestead, not intended for circulation, and a 2006 Proof South Dakota Quarter. So I'm really happy. Four silver quarters. We got a nice variety of stuff from four boxes. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure and leave a like. Leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure and share this video with a friend. And until next time, keep on digging.